Hello and welcome Star Wars and Unboxing fans to another episode of Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing Show. I'm your host Darth Tuba. Be sure to subscribe to my channel on YouTube, Darth Tuba Two Words. Check out my Twitter feed at Darth Tuba. I'm like my Star Wars or Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing page on Facebook. You can also email me at darthtuba77 at gmail.com. So today we're going into another um, weird area in uh, my collecting and something that is from a different country. Again, I've been doing a little bit of that on and off. So why don't we just get right to it today, okay? And rather than tell you what it is, why don't I just show you? It would be this. What might this be, do you ask? Well, this is actually not a brand new item, but it's fairly new. It's on the newer end. This is the Star Wars, I hope I'm saying this right. If I'm not, I apologize. Uh, Samurai Taisho Darth Vader by Bandai. Now, a few years ago, the company of Bandai came up with some ideas of how to kind of reinvent or rethink the Darth Vader uniform or costume. Um, now, some those Star Wars enthusiasts out there will know that Star Wars was influenced by a great many things, but the the uh, character of Darth Vader, the look of Darth Vader, definitely had a uh, dark samurai warrior kind of feel to it, or like, at least in, cer in certain inc incarnations. So when Ralph McQuarrie designed it, he also designed it to him to have the mask because he thought he was going to be out in space fighting in, in space and he needed a breath mask. But and you know we all know that those of you those of you that you know followed the making of Star Wars know that George Lucas was heavily influenced on the Hidden Fortress of film, and there was just a, a great many Japanese influences in the Star Wars universe. So this company decided to take that a little more literally and kind of reverse it back, or you know reverse engineer if you will. So this is what they've come up with. So let's take a look at this. I, I understand that they came up with a life size version of this as well. I'm not exactly sure how much that cost, but, okay, here we have um, the unit. And, you know, they're, they're all kind of worked. A lot of these uh, more higher-end collectibles are um, kind of packaged the same way. It almost seems like you can, if you wanted to, you could just display it like this, you know, put it in the box, and leave it like that so you can still see it but keep it protected. We, on the other hand, are going to have a little fun with it. You'll also see that it comes with uh, multiple hand um, positions which allow us to uh, pose it in different ways. So why don't we just work on this. Okay. This is actually kind of scary, to be honest with you. Oh, it looks like his hand actually came off. Let's see if I, I might, I, I might replace the hand anyway, so. Okay. So this is when I'm going to do some uh, some serious uh, close-up photos of this when we're done, because this is absolutely incredible. He has got, you know, total samurai warrior armor, um, very traditional, and of course the helmet is uh, very, you know, the parts of the helmet look very normal, very much like Darth Vader, but it looks like his his grill is 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 taken out and he actually has teeth. Like as if he's he's got like almost a robotic mouth, which is pretty cool. Okay, so there is some pretty amazing stuff there. Now I'm gonna now he also let's just kind of stand him here for a moment. I don't know if he'll stand on his own. Uh, yeah. This this could be tricky. This could be <laughs> sometimes when you take them out of the box, you regret it only because oh, if I spread on his legs a little bit. up a little bit. Okay, cool. Now, he comes, this is really cool. It is a lightsaber, but it is a lightsaber that is set up like a samurai sword. It has a slight bend in the blade, okay, and you can actually have just the hilt or you can have it with it, with the uh, actual blade. I am definitely going to have him holding the blade. So, in fact, I might have him holding the blade with the left hand because since this left hand already just fell off, I am going to take advantage of that. Move this over here, move this over here. And let's see if I can get this. You gotta be very caref careful with these pieces. 
because, first of all, oh, I apologize. It's the wrong hand. I'm going to lay Darth Vader down for the moment. His feet and toes are in very weird kind of posing position, but... All right, let's... Thank you. That's what I want. His right hand. Or no, his left hand, sorry. I think I can put this... Now, I've had some bad luck with this when it came to... Uh... Come on. Hmm. Interesting. I am thinking that this is actually not working as well as I would have liked. Generally speaking, I'm very positive about the items that come in the mail, the things that I've ordered. I've been pretty happy with a lot of things. This unit, however, I'm feeling as though these hand things. Alright, I was able to get the looks like I was able to get the fist back on. Alright. So let me try this. You gotta be very careful when you're doing these folks because and this goes for Bandai, it goes for anything. Um, even uh, hot, hot Toys Sideshow. I had a comment from a viewer saying that he prefers Hot Toys over um, Sideshow. So the, the, which I agree with, but I'm just wondering if... I don't know if, um, in all honesty, I don't know if Hot Toys, or if Sideshow are actually creating toys anymore. I thought, you know, or maybe they're doing like the premium format or something. I think Hot Toys is like... Pretty much, I haven't seen any sideshow uh, available figures. I know the other week we did the the um, first order Stormtrooper. Trooper. I don't know if Star if uh, sideshow is actually releasing any other any other uh, twelve inch figures. I think they might be just doing other things. Whereas, uh, okay, oh, that might be the way to do it. Kind of twist it in. Okay, I think I got it. All right, and then we put that in there. This didn't happen in the movie. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Well, I'm going to say this. The Bandai toy... All right. Looks like that there's, there's a little more delicateness, delicate nature to these toys. You have to be very careful when you're putting them together. Um, definitely not meant in any way to be played with, with any, by any degree of um, seriousness. Okay. This one feels like it's just. I might do. I wonder if I can. I might have to actually get a stand for this. I think I'm gonna have to because it's just, it's just very, very weak. It has a hard time standing. Or I'm gonna have to have some type of display piece with it. Let me do this for now. I'll figure out a way to display it in a little bit. But I will say this: that overall, the look of the toy is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Great display piece. Do not put a lot of um, playability with it. Do not play with it too much because it's going to fall apart. Um, I don't want to call out Bandai, okay? But items that are there's items that there's a certain standard that toys that are sold in this country versus toys that are sold in other countries, and I have a feeling that um, it, the, the standard is a little less there, and so as a result, although there have been toys from here, so even high end collectibles that sometimes fall apart, and you have to either call or you know and get replacement parts or whatever, but the look of the toy, fantastic. I love the Japanese um, influence, and I love how they've reversed it. They have created many other ones. There's, I think, a Stormtrooper, a um, Imperial Guard. There's a lot of different choices. So it's it's a great piece, and I strongly I, I recommend it. But be beware, it's not for playing; it's for displaying. Okay, so. Actually, that's going to do it for this week's episode. Okay, as I said, you know, I encourage you to like and follow me on Twitter at, at Darth Tuba. Like the video and subscribe and share it at um, Darth Tuba. You can subscribe Darth Tuba Two Words on YouTube. You can like the Darth Tuba Star Wars unboxing page on Facebook. And you can email me at DarthTuba77 at gmail.com. So, once again, thank you very much and thanks for hanging out with me in this very short video. And. May the force be with you.